Hey guys, welcome back to another day on the potato cleanse. So today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I'm eating, but I'm also going to be measuring it and putting it into chronometer because apparently we've got some tater haters out there that are making videos saying the potato cleanse is unhealthy and that you can't get all the nutrition that your body needs on it. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what I ate today like I do all the time and we'll see at the end of today's video if I get enough nutrition and I'll also talk about some of the controversy that has occurred. So for breakfast, I'm making what I have every single day, hash browns. I'm gonna have a whole bag of Trader Joe's hash browns. And then I'm mixing in, this is two cups of mushrooms, a little bit of onion, and then half of a red bell, or orange bell pepper, and half of a green bell pepper. And then I'm just gonna put some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and salt on it. Today though, I'm gonna make it actually in the waffle iron because I found this thing so handy. It works so much better than the George Foreman. So I'm gonna make a hash brown potato waffle. So here's my mix. So normally what I do is I'll make one potato waffle and then eat it and then make another one. So I'm just gonna obviously have to make two because there's no way all of this is gonna fit in the waffle iron. Potato waffle one. Here's the second one. This one didn't come out looking too good, so I just smothered it in ketchup, sriracha, and some Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. So for lunch, I'm gonna eat the rest of this broccoli that we've had sitting in the fridge. I was originally gonna eat this with my potato cheese sauce, but Yesterday, Derek ate the rest of it, so we really need to like use this broccoli up, so I'm just going to steam it and eat it with my lunch. And then for the rest of my lunch, I'm gonna have sweet potatoes that I have cooked in the fridge. I'll weigh them when I take them out, and I'm just gonna eat them in like lettuce cups with some of the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, because it is my favorite addiction right now. So this is just one sweet potato that I cooked up, and it's a Hannah sweet potato. So that's 514 grams. Then I'm just going to eat it with all of this romaine lettuce because I like to wrap it up in here and put sauce on it and make little tacos. It's so good. Then I got my broccoli here, which I also put sriracha and Carolina Gold barbecue sauce on. <laughs> As then guys, the addiction is real. <laughs> all right, so we just got home from a bike ride, which I totally forgot to take any footage of. Um, but it was just nice and not super sunny out today, so we just rode around a little bit. Um, but I'm making dinner now, and I'm gonna have mashed potatoes, gravy, and I'm gonna steam some kale, and just have mushrooms as well, because I like to put mushrooms in my gravy. So I have these two potatoes, which I'm just going to weigh. So they're about a thousand grams. And then I am just going to steam this kale while my potatoes are cooking. I've got my potatoes and kale in there. And for gravy, I'm just gonna use this Hanes vegetarian fat-free gravy. Mix in a bunch of mushrooms, and then I'm also gonna put some turmeric in the gravy and some red pepper. Alright, I've got my gravy cooking. I think my kale is just about done. Alright, so here is dinner. We have got our mashed potatoes, our carrot, or not carrot, but our turmeric spicy gravy a whole bunch of kale sauteed and I even put some sauerkraut on there just so we can be getting them probiotic gains. So as you can see from my chronometer today, I got well over my RDA for all vitamins and minerals with the exception of vitamin B12 and vitamin D. If you didn't know, vitamin B12 comes from the earth and basically since modern civilization has taught us to disinfect everything a thousand times and to dump tons of fertilizers and 
all kinds of chemicals and stuff into the ground has depleted our soils of necessary nutrients like B12. So a lot of people that eat animal products and things like that they get most of their B12 actually from fortified milks and fortified cereals and other things that are fortified with B12. So today, if I would have had um, basically like a couple tablespoons of nutritional yeast, I would have hit my B12 requirement. My vitamin D I got from when I was on my bike ride out in the sun. So just getting a little bit of sunshine every single day can totally fulfill your vitamin D requirements. If you don't live in a place that is warm and sunny year round, you can definitely take a supplement and you can also take a B12 supplement. I'll link the ones that I use below because they're vegan and they're just the brands that I have come to love and to recommend to other people. So I will leave those below. But since all like these videos coming out and everything, I honestly just don't think a lot of people even looked into what the potato cleanse really is. And they've obviously failed to do just a tiny bit of research to look into at least the group or you know what we're promoting or even look at my videos and show that this entire time I have promoted eating as much potatoes as you want, as much sweet potatoes as you want, and as much non-starchy vegetables as you want on the cleanse. The reason for the no calorie restriction is so that you can develop a new relationship with food so that you can get in touch with your true hunger and start to realize when you're truly, truly hungry and when you're just eating out of boredom. This diet meets the entire RDA for all vitamins and minerals that you need on a daily basis. And as you can see from what I ate today, I didn't eat like anything crazy, anything out of the ordinary. I've eaten all these foods the entire time I've been on the potato cleanse, maybe not every single day, but I have eaten these foods on the potato cleanse before. It's not like I'm eating something that's totally crazy just so that I can hit you know, a certain nutrient or something like that. But the reason that we promote obviously eating sweet potatoes and non-starchy vegetables while on the potato cleanse is because they're obviously very high in nutrients. Just from one medium sweet potato, you get over 7,400% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin A. Mushrooms are an absolutely fantastic source of selenium, and believe it or not, you can get all the calcium that your body needs on a daily basis just from eating broccoli and kale. How friggin' awesome is that? The other great thing about the potato cleanse is that it's extremely alkaline, means your body won't be leaching minerals from your bones to buffer the acidity that's in more acidic foods like animal products and other foods like that. It's 100% okay to obviously eat you know, a varied diet of fruits, vegetables, different starches, but if your aim is weight loss or to overcome something like high blood pressure or edema or type 2 diabetes, it is very, very helpful to eat just one main type of food. Dr. John McDougall has researched this extensively, as well as Dr. Kempner, who is famous for his rice diet and has cured literally tens of thousands of people of disease and other ailments through simple diets. In fact, the majority of most long-lived cultures eat very standard starch-based diets, such as the Okinawans, who thrive off of potatoes, the Asians who thrive off of rice, and the Aztecs who have eaten mainly corn for thousands of years. Another thing that I want you to realize is it's not necessary to hit your RDA of every single vitamin, nutrient, mineral, you know, omega, fat, or whatever every single day. Our bodies are incredibly adaptable and they can go often months and sometimes years without certain vitamins. The point is to eat a variety of foods. Since throughout verifiable human history, we have not had such an array of foods like we have these days walking through a grocery store. Northern climates, we have fruits, berries, and greens in the summer, and we have potatoes and other starches to help us survive throughout the winter months. If it were necessary to eat the entire RDA, of every single vitamin and mineral and amino acid every single day, we would literally all be freaking dead. One last thing before I sign off today, I just wanna encourage people to obviously think for themselves. I know that coming to a plant-based diet or a starch-based diet or coming from wherever you come from, it can be very, very easy and simple to listen to people on the internet. I want you to realize that most people cherry pick information to suit their own agenda and what point they are trying to come across. If anybody honestly did three to five minutes of research just Googling on the internet, you would have been able to figure out that you can get well over the recommended daily intake of all of your vitamins and minerals eating this way. So I hope that that was helpful for you guys. Like I said, please just do your own research and don't believe everything that you hear on the internet. You can really make anything look good or make anything look bad. Like look at what they do with the meat and dairy industry. 
make it look super good or you can make coffee look really good or you can make it look really bad like it just depends what way you look at it but if you really look at you know the vegetables that you're consuming the potatoes that you're eating sweet potatoes you're eating you know enough you're going to get enough vitamins and minerals and everything that you need on the potato cleanse so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you tomorrow they're red they're white they're brown they get that way underground there can't be much to do so now they have blue ones too we don't care what they look like we'll eat them any way they can fit on our plate Every way we can conjure to heat them We're delighted and think they're just great Potato, 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 potato